One more way in which Python 2 differs from Python 3 is in the way it handles rounding. So we have a built-in command called round, and we'll just have it round 5.5. Don't forget the print statement if you want to see the output. And there you go. 5.5 is rounded to 6. Let's see what happens in Python 3. Also rounds to 6. This time we get an integer instead of a floating point, which is good to note. Let's see what happens if we round another number. Let's say 4.5. Okay, 4.5 rounds to 5 in Python 2. But in Python 3, 4.5 is rounded to 4. So what's going on? Python 2, its default for the built-in function round is to return uh, to return the higher boundary that is um, if the number to be rounded is exactly in between two integers. So in this case 5 and 6, Python 2 will return the higher integer, 6. This is the case for 5.5. This was the case for 4.5. Now Python 3 employs something called banker's rounding, which takes a number exactly in between two integers and rounds to the nearest even number. So sometimes that means rounding up, as in the case of 5.5, rounds to 6. Sometimes that means rounding down. In the case, 4.5 rounds to 4. And this is meant to prevent a great number of decimal points from being rounded up and prevent values from becoming larger than they should be to represent the data they represent. So it's a good behavior to keep in mind as a difference between Python 2 and Python 3.